A lot of people are complaining that the episode is not an origin episode. I was thinking, calm down, this isn't Batman Begins. We've heard enough origin stories over a dozen times. RPM itself doesn't start with an origin story. However, if Saban was going to start off with the beginning of the show though, they were going to need an episode that isn't weak and doesn't show the weaknesses in your actor's acting, your writer's writing, your director's directoring, etc. The beginning of this episode is a train wreck. The tone of this episode, and maybe even the series, is confusing. The introduction is that of watching the Star Wars prequels. The poor storytelling is the Phantom Menace, hoping you're too preoccupied with the beautiful looking back flip action to notice it in the corner. Jaden's busy reading Shinkenger's scripts. Kevin hates Mike for some reason. Then you have Jaden trying to teach a lesson about being completely in the mindset of a ranger. Then he takes off Kevin's pants. Is that supposed to be funny? Did your teacher try to teach something to you? Play a bad joke on you and then hope you remember the lesson later? Was he a good teacher if he did that? Jaden and Mentor G should be reminding the rangers, and more importantly us, the audience, who the enemies of the Power Rangers are and who they're fighting against. This is coming from a guy who hates being dependent upon the Zordon character exposition. Hulk and Spike being the only ones funny would be okay. You have monsters with cartoon voices, sometimes uninterestedly talking about the flooding the earth and threatening each other. Some anime could have pulled this off, but not here. Part of the fault is Shinkenders. The origins of the villains is very abstract. However, Saban should try and explain their origins more. Megzord armor, thumbs down. Megzord sword, thumbs up. How did they not see where Mike went? Why not start Mike at the arcade? He's already missing from the Rangers. We get to the point that he's totally not into the Power Rangers swing just yet, despite the fact that he's in the scene. The team unites? Mike didn't really think about leaving, or his head might not have been in the game. I like the intro. It reminds me of a select screen in a Super Street Fighter game. Possibly why they chose a Mike episode first. It also shows that they weren't going to do some of the worst effects ever when adapting Shinkender like they did in Mighty Morphin Remastered. This was a good Mike episode, but not the best Power Rangers season premiere. It's not different enough from the Shinkender episode to warrant another rewatching. Also, we already saw the Bulk and Spike scene from online on IGN. At least there was no pizza this episode.